This is a cemetery, and it's in the most unsuspecting place, a Home Depot parking lot. And I know what you're thinking. This is the last place you expect to find anything of historical or cultural significance. So what is it doing here? Kind of an unsuspecting place to find a cemetery right here in the middle of a Home Depot parking lot. But back during the 1960s, this was all farmland. In 1963, construction crews were clearing the fields to build a shopping center, and they found this cemetery, which is right behind me. So the town of Huntington took it over, and it's been like this ever since, just preserved. There's about eight gravestones here, most of which are from the Burr family. But who are the Burrs, and what's their significance to Long Island? The Burr family arrived in Comac from England in 1656 and purchased 166 acres of land. But it wasn't until the 1800s when the Burr family made Comac a notable town. Smith Burr, the patriarch of the family, owned a hotel and bred harness horses, while his son, Carl S. Burr, continued with the family horse breeding business. This business would eventually propel the family into fame and social prominence as notable horse breeders. And one such horse, Lady Suffolk, would set several national horse racing records. Carl S. Burr Sr. would then build one of the most important and influential horse training schools in the nation, the Burr Equine Educational Institution. It would bring him wealthy and famous clients including William H. Vanderbilt, J.P. Morgan, and President Ulysses S. Grant. All brought their horses to the Burr family for training. Carl S. Burr Jr. expanded his father's house and built Suffolk County's only one-mile racetrack, which would operate until the early 1900s. Carl Jr. would go on to serve as a New York State Senator from 1905 to 1908. He is remembered for the Park Bill, the legislation that created Fire Island State Park in Suffolk County. As I mentioned before, there are eight gravestones in the cemetery. Most of the engravings have worn off, but one such epitaph remains, and that's for Phoebe Maria Burr, wife of Henry Burr, who died in 1819 at the age of 19. Her epitaph reads, "'Tis finished. The conflict is past. The heaven-born spirit is fled. Her wish is accomplished at last. Now she's entombed with the dead." The Burr family would eventually transition from horse breeding to the real estate business up until the late 20th century. As for the cemetery, the town of Huntington continues to maintain the plot of land. If you are passing by, do take a minute to stop and appreciate this piece of Long Island history. Until then, I'll see you on the next Explore.